everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another episode of What's for Dinner. Today we have a super fast pantry meal that you're going to make in your pressure cooker. This is creamy chicken and rice that we have made with homemade cream of celery soup, some home canned chicken off the pantry shelf, and some canned mushrooms to go along with it. All the things that we see on our plate we had on hand and this is just going to be a really quick and easy go-to. Making it in the pressure cooker makes it go even faster. So come on along and let's see how we make this. All right, we're going to go over all of the ingredients for this pressure cooker creamy chicken and rice dinner. This is so easy to make. I have four cups of my homemade cream of celery soup. I showed you how to make this in another video. Super easy. What I have here is the equivalent to what I made in that video. I have three cups of par-cooked rice. You can use long grain rice. You just may have to adjust the liquid here. I actually, when I cook the par-cooked rice in the pressure cooker, I do use equal parts of rice to liquid. So, we have two pints of my home canned chicken with the liquid. I have two cans of sliced mushrooms that I had in my pantry with the liquid. I have a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. I have a recipe for my poultry seasoning. That's what this is here. And a tablespoon of oil. Whenever you cook rice in your pressure cooker, it is imperative that you do not forget to put the oil in there. Otherwise, you could seriously damage your pitcock and your pressure cooker would be ruined infinitum. So, we're going to bring the pressure cooker over here and we're going to fill it up and we're going to do that in a minute. Right, we're just going to start by putting all of our ingredients in here. This is like a creamy chicken and rice bake. Instead of baking it, we're just going to make it in the pressure cooker. Whoops, sorry, my hands are getting in the way. And I'm going to stick my rice in here. So I had four cups of cream of celery soup. Now that's going to be equivalent to approximately two cans of cream of celery with the water added or the milk added. So keep that in mind. And then um, I have about a cup of water in here with the mushrooms and approximately the same amount in the chicken. So give this all a good stir. This is a super fast pantry meal that you can throw together at the drop of a hat when you get home from a long, tired day. Um, the, the chicken is already cooked. I mean, you can use fresh chicken and, and brown it if you want to go to the trouble of doing that. But I'm trying to do like a pantry meal that you can make from whatever you may have on hand. There goes our poultry seasoning. Mm. Smells really good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. And our oil. Don't forget the oil, even though you, you figure there's already butter in that soup it's not going to do the same thing. The oil is going to rest on the top and it's going to prevent foaming. Okay, on goes our lid. We have the rice setting here. I'm just going to press the rice button and I'm going to let the machine do its job. I'll be back when it's time to take the lid off and serve our creamy chicken and rice. All right. Our uh, pressure cooker, it counted down, went 12 minutes, and you know, you think it's not going to be enough time, but I promise you, it's enough time. Now, I did let this sit for about five minutes after it finished, and I, then I did a quick release on it. It didn't have to release a lot of pressure at that point, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's beautiful. It smells incredible, and I can't wait to serve you up. A delicious bowl of this creamy chicken and rice hot pot. I know you're gonna love it. So we're gonna go to the, back to the counter. I'm gonna clear off the pressure cooker and I'm gonna fix you a dish of this beautiful meal. There you have it. Pressure cooker, creamy chicken and rice. And we're gonna give this a taste. The rice is perfectly cooked. Everything is nice and creamy and it's not, it wasn't like so tight. You know sometimes when you do rice it gets really tight we had a lot of liquid in here, and it was positively beautiful. I'm going to have Rick give this a taste. Mm. 
That's so good. Mm. Really flavorful. It's super flavorful because it got infused with all those flavors from the cream of celery soup and the poultry seasoning. Everything is really, really delicious. No need for any added salt here, in my opinion. But if you want more, of course, you add it to your own Perfect. to your own serving. I've just paired this with some steamed broccoli and some homemade cranberry sauce. This is like the cranberry sauce I made at Thanksgiving with the cherries in it. Super delicious. So if you like what you saw today, I hope you'll consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here in our kitchen and on our channel. So I hope you give this pressure cooker creamy chicken and rice a try, and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya! Alright, you can see how we're puffy now, and sometimes when you put them in the pan like that, they like to stick together, and you can put them beautiful golden brown. If you don't like yours as brown as this, see, this pan is so slippery. Oh, for heaven's sake. Alright, I got real problems here, people. Good gravy.